the fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here outside the Volcano National Park in Rwanda. And I'll tell you, we have loved our time in Rwanda so far. We've been in Kigali, we've been here in the volcanoes, the National Park. We've seen some really amazing stuff when we're here. And I know a lot of people asked us when we were when we told them we we're coming here to Rwanda, they said, Mark, is it safe to go there? Because a lot of people, the only thing they've ever heard about Rwanda is the genocide in 1994. And they, that's all they know. A million people were massacred here and they, they don't know like what's happened the last 25 years. Well, the country has completely changed itself. I mean, the recovery, how the people have come together here in Rwanda, where it's not Hutu or Tutsi, it's, it's where Rwandans is amazing. It's spectacular. It gives you goosebumps when you come here. And I want you to know that Rwanda is safe. I'm here with my family. I mean, I brought my parents with me. I've got my kids with me, my wife, my whole family. And it is a safe country to visit. It's probably the safest country in Africa you can go to. For example, if you go to Kigali, the capital, you'll see people walking around at night. No big deal. You can walk around at night. You might take a moto taxi, which maybe isn't the safest thing, but you can take one when you're there. I mean, there's so many things you can do and you feel safe when you go around. We were there during the day, went to some of the malls, went to some of the places to check out. And we felt extremely safe when we were there. I did not worry about my bags. I wasn't like, oh, what should I do? You know, I felt pretty good. And the thing is, when you go around Rwanda and you see the friendly people, the smiling faces, the kids waving at you and running with your car and stuff like that, it's just such a warm and heart, like just really wonderful place to be. And the thing is, though, as a tourist, there's some things we should know about of how to be safe. So I want to talk about are some of the issues that tourists will kind of face when they are here when it comes to safety. But in general, you do not need to worry too much when you do come here. If you are worried, go check out the State Department, what they say about the U.S. So your foreign office says about, you know, coming to Rwanda, they will let you know what you need to know. And I'll be honest, these are things that I feel the most important things for you to know as a tourist coming here in terms of your safety. Okay, but in general, you don't really have to worry about your safety too much because it is a pretty safe country. Okay, now I think probably the one thing you should probably know is the driving. Okay, what you need to know is Rwanda is the country of a thousand hills, so there's lots of winding roads and stuff like this, and you'll see that bikes are the most popular way to get around. So you'll see people with bikes, and they'll be, you know, they'll be carrying like pieces of lumber and, and huge bags of potatoes and stuff like that, sugar cane, all kinds of stuff. You'll see those people on the side of the road. You'll see ladies with water jugs on their, uh, you know, carrying on their head and, and big jars. They'll be on their phone and having a kid, you know, on their back and holding another kid here, walking down. And you're like, but they're on the side of the road. And so that kind of gets people kind of scared when they're driving around. And I want you to know some of the driving things you should be thinking about. One, always wear your seatbelt. Okay, that's a key thing. Another thing to think about when you are here is those windy roads, if you get motion sickness or you know, sea sickness or whatever, they can cause some kind of tummy trouble. So do have a heads up for that. Also, probably the most painful part of driving are the speed bumps or the sleeping, the sleeping policemen. You hit those speed bumps. I mean, they're high and they will break your back. I mean, it is like, whoa, especially if you're in one of those safari Jeeps and you're in the back, be ready for a whoa, <laughs> kind of like bouncing kind of stuff. So do have a heads up for that one. Now, the thing is, is I know a lot of people when they come here, they're gonna come on tours. One thing I would say is if you have your safari Jeep when you're going around, one, don't leave anything out. Okay, don't leave anything out when you when you you know get out of the jeep and do stuff. Put your stuff away. I mean, it's most likely going to be fine because most of the safari jeeps are going to be parking in places that have security and stuff like that at their parking lots. And in general, the country is very safe. But it's just like anywhere. I mean, you don't leave money out in in Chicago. You don't leave money out in, in any city around the world. You know, you just don't do that kind of stuff. So don't don't do those things when you're driving around here. Now the thing is, if you're going to be staying at a lodge or maybe you're going to go drive to a big shopping area or something like that. Some people get a little scared because they see guys with guns and stuff like that or they might be checking underneath the car that's just standard procedure here they're just trying to make sure everything's okay i know that makes it sound like it's not safe but it is pretty safe here uh, so just be ready for that because i know some people got a little worried about it i know we went to the hotel rwanda that you from the movie we actually went there and they checked the underneath the car and stuff like that like go on in when you go into the mall you might have people use a you know a metal detector on you and stuff like that or check your bags so do be ready for that okay but i think for in terms of driving probably your your most dangerous kind of thing you got to worry about is you're going to take a moto taxi a moto taxi is a motorcycle that's a taxi now the drivers i mean they have helmets for themselves and a helmet for their passenger because that's the rules they'll wear a vest because they have it's like i'm saying the license plate on the back kind of thing and they'll take you around town and because all the hills here you might look on the map and be like oh that's close by but you don't realize yeah it's it's this far this way but it's also this far this way you know so you're like going up and down so those moto taxis can really come in handy and the thing is the people here really do follow the rules so like when you're driving around they'll be really like relatively 
safe with you. So there is that. Also, if you're in some of the rural areas, you might see bicycle taxis as well. Though, whenever they saw me, they're like, oh, my bike's broken, dude. So, you know, if you're if you're a heavier traveler like myself, maybe don't maybe don't do well, don't try to use one of those. I have seen normal taxis in some of the bigger cities as well. So you have that too. Um, but I think it's important for me to mention is probably when you're going to be coming to Rwanda, most people think of going to see the gorillas. In terms of safety stuff for the gorillas, the gorillas are actually safe to be around, okay? One thing though is don't take flash photography when you're there. The people, the, the guides will let you know the rules. Don't not listen to the guides. Do what they tell you to do when you go to these. Because sometimes you might have, a, they're like, oh, you have to stay, you know, yeah, 10 meters away from the gorillas, but you know what? The gorillas don't know the rules, so they might come running by, which has scared a few tourists over the years, so be ready for that. But if you're gonna be doing the hiking, okay, realize that the hikes to go see the gorillas can be a little bit tough. I mean, they can be a little stressful. And also make sure you're wearing long pants and a long sleeve shirt and stuff like this and good hiking boots, because it can get pretty muddy out there. Because even if you're in dry season, it's still a rainforest when you are here. So have a heads up for that, okay? And you know how I told you to have long sleeves and stuff like that? Now, obviously, I don't have long sleeves on right now. I do have pants on, but I will say some of the medical stuff you should kind of think about before you come here is make sure, I mean, I've got my bug band here. Have your bug bands, have good bug spray, things like that, so that that can keep them away. Also, we're very near the equator, so you want to make sure maybe bring a wide rim hat if you're going to be going out like Akagera National Park where you can see the big five. You might want to have those things there. Now, what I will say, though, is you don't actually wear the whole safari outfit, like if you're in Kigali or stuff like that. You only use that if you're at that national park to go see the big five okay so i want to get that out of the way but it always is a good idea to maybe have some longer sleeves to keep away the bugs away keep the sun away and since we're so close to the equator a good sunblock you want to have a lip balm that will really pay off as well another thing i think i should tell you about in terms of safety is when you eat here look you do not drink the tap water you do not brush your teeth with the tap water you will always drink bottled water which is easily available like hotels will usually give you some bottles to brush your teeth with to drink and stuff like that okay so do have a heads up no tap water at all when you are here now the food in general if it's cooked you're going to be pretty much fine the food here if you like veggies there's a lot of vegetarian here like this is the probably the best vegetarian country to come to in sub-saharan africa that i've ever heard of because there's so many like non-meat based dishes here so that's really kind of a cool thing but i know some people still have tummy troubles when it comes to coming to new countries so make sure you're bringing your emodium your anti-diarrhea stuff and your your pepto-bismol for upset stomachs and things like that you want to make sure you have those Another thing you might want to worry about, some people, you know, they, they take malaria medicine when they come here. Now, I personally am taking my anti-malaria medicine when I'm here. If you're going to be taking anti-malaria pills, you got to go see your doctor. You can't just pick them up the day before. You got to go to your doctor and get a prescription. And the thing is, you have to take start taking them before you come, and then you take them after you leave if you're in areas that have malaria. Now, you might not be any place that has malaria here in Rwanda, but you might want to take those just in case. I will give you a tummy trouble warning when it comes to malaria meds. If you take on an empty stomach depending on the kind you have like the kind i have you can have some major stomach problems like like I'm, i want to throw up i want to throw up i'm going to die until you eat something so make sure if you're flying in late night into kigali and you've already started taking your meds you got to take one in the morning maybe have a little snack with you so you can have that with your pills to help out but of course talk to your doctor see what they recommend for you to take um so there, there is that in terms of vaccinations for safety kind of things like i got hep a hep b and i got all my updates you know tetanus type typhoid, diphtheria, things like that. I did get a yellow fever vaccine for when I was coming here, so there is that. Uh, but you need to talk to your doctor. Also look and see what the CDC says about what they recommend and see where you're at in terms of your vaccinations. Because you're old like me, you might need a top up on a tetanus or something else. So do have a heads up for that. Now, in terms of safety with your hotels, there's a lot of different kind of accommodation you're going to have when you do come here to Rwanda. I know a lot of people, though, if they're going to be hiking and trekking with the gorillas, they're, they're staying at a, a higher level place, okay, or a higher price place. And if you're going to be staying at a lodge, it's almost like a compound kind of stuff. It's usually pretty safe, though you will notice there are guards at the doors and, the, you know, letting cars in and out and saying it's okay and things like that. I will say, though, in terms of in your hotel room, always lock up your passport and all your stuff in the hotel safe, you know, if they have one in there for you. Um, also, what I do recommend is actually putting your stuff away in your suitcases and locking your suitcases when you're out for the day, if you're going trekking, if you're doing other things. Now, I'm not saying people are going to 
steel. I recommend this anywhere I go in the world. So it's one of the things that some people have recommended to me too when I've been here. But in general, we haven't had any problems. The staff here, I mean, the people here in Rwanda are super friendly. All the staff we've met and all the places we've stayed and every place we've gone have been super awesome. So that makes me feel better. But it's always smart to make sure you're not leaving out your cash, not leaving out your passport. I mean, like anywhere kind of stuff. Put that stuff away so you don't have to worry about it. And speaking of your cash, when you do come here to Rwanda, yeah, some places will take credit cards, but it's more of a cash-based society. So they use the Rwandan franc here. And if you're going to be going to like small restaurants in town, or you're going to be going to the, the markets and stuff like that, they prefer the Rwandan franc. Um, if you're doing tourist stuff, they're glad to take US dollars, no problem. Or if you're in Kigali, in a lot of the places they'll take dollars there, no problem. So that's pretty easy. Some places will take euros too, but US dollar is preferred over euros. Uh, so that's one thing. But the thing is, if you're going to be coming in with a lot of cash, okay don't keep it all in one place make sure you're splitting it up like i have part of it and jocelyn has part of it and you know so we kind of like one of us loses it well at least we have the other half so you do want to be careful with that and i think the last thing i need to warn you about isn't really a safety issue it's more like another tummy issue when you are here they do have one really 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 hot hot sauce that's here and if your guy's a great guy and tells you to like dude be careful because that's really hot you need to listen to him because Caleb and I made the mistake of getting that really, really hot sauce and going, duh, duh, duh. and he's like, uh, dude, don't do that. We're like, oh, he had a bite. We're like, oh, oh, so it burns once and twice. Okay. So I just want to give a heads up for that one. But in general, if you're looking, is Rwanda safe? Yes. I feel comfortable to come here with my family, my kids and my parents and everybody. So I feel good with this. And the people really are warming. And I know sometimes you get worried because why are people staring at me? But just remember, they'll stare, then they'll smile and then they'll wave. Okay. And you do the same thing. You just wave as well when you go by. Anyway, I hope that helps you feel a little bit better about going to Rwanda. If you want to learn more, maybe some culture shocks of Rwanda, what you don't do when you come to Rwanda, or just general information on what you should know before you come here, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and if you like honest travel videos from the locations we travel to, why don't you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we'll get new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday from all over this beautiful world. Anyway, I want to say thank you very everybody for watching don't forget to give us a thumbs up and a special thank you to all of our patrons on patreon who make honest travel videos like this possible if you want to find out how you can help us keep making honest travel videos go to patreon.com slash walters world to find out how and i'll say bye from here in rwanda